Hi guys, um, welcome to Sacrifice with yet another video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Exodus uh, on your PC. Exodus, uh, as you know, it's actually a crypto wallet. You can actually save multiple cryptocurrencies uh, on this single wallet and you can actually sync the wallet with other devices as well like you know your smartphones and even uh, your Trezor hardware wallet. So uh, not only that, uh, gives you access to your private keys and seed phrases you can at any time restore in case of in case of losing your device or your device getting corrupted or crashes you can always restore your crypto wallet i mean exodus wallet using your seed phrases unlike many other wallets that actually uh, lets you save multiple cryptocurrencies like you know free wallets that also lets you add a coinbase but the problem with these cryptocurrency wallets is that it doesn't actually give you access to the private keys so you can actually save multiple cryptocurrencies you can send cryptocurrencies that you have mined using your PC or whatever the hardware you have to these wallets and you can save them there and you can easily access these wallets using your email or some sort of pins but however you don't have access to private keys and these wallets private keys are held by these companies so it's not that safe if you're looking for a wallet for a long-term use i think this is not the way to go forward so it actually lets you uh, keep the private keys and seed phrases so you can actually restore at any time so in this video i'll actually show you how to set things up so to download exodus just i have put the link in the description check it okay i have downloaded it and you can see that exodus windows 64 and just run it and it'll install it installation of this application is pretty straightforward and once you install it you have it here on desktop this is the user interface and the wallet has lots of features built into it and uh, unlike many other wallets you can actually exchange you can send receive and you can actually store multiple cryptocurrencies in this wallet so here you have this is the portfolio this is where it shows all the cryptocurrency that actually is, this wallet actually supports so and you can also see the uh, price of these each and every cryptocurrencies and based on the current market and you can see it goes ups and downs so you can see the graph here so i'm sorry so like here if you click the graph you can expand and you can see how are things going on with the with that particular cryptocurrencies so that's how it actually works and there is this wallet option and you can switch between these cryptocurrencies available and some of these cryptocurrencies have some extra security and privacy like for bitcoin you can create uh, new public addresses each and every time you receive um, cryptocurrencies from some others so you go completely private and you can uh, nobody can actually search your wallet uh, on on the blockchain so they can actually track how much bitcoin you have in your wallet so that's really cool right you have new uh, wallet address each and every time you uh, receive some cryptos but that feature is not available for all the currencies it, it's only available for the major some of these currencies okay and there is this exchange this is really cool because you can actually easily exchange whatever the currency you have in this wallet within this wallet itself. So you can actually exchange Bitcoin for Ethereum, Ethereum, whatever the currency you have for some other currencies you want. And this wallet supports. So you can easily exchange it from here. And there is this uh, Exodus uh, investment options as well. And the company has called uh, great vision, I think. So it gives you lots of opportunity to increase your investment and double your investment in the future by participating in this office you can actually learn about all this stuff later okay so to set things up what you needed to do is you can start sending cryptocurrencies to the wallet you will have here on your computer once you installed so you can use um if you want to receive uh, ethereum for example just click this receive button and it actually shows the public address uh, or this QR code and you can actually send uh, Ethereum to this wallet it'll, it'll see there but uh, to secure your account what you needed to do is just go to settings and and here you need to back up and create a password for your wallet so I'm gonna create a password for my wallet here so 
no, no, no. Okay. And then click next. So type password again. And click next. So this is uh, actually tall word phrase. You need to back this up. You can actually back it anywhere you want, but make sure it's actually safe. No one should have access to this seed phrase. So it's better to take it down on a paper or something like that, or save it on to a Word document and save it somewhere else safe on some other devices like your smartphone. So this is the seed phrase you need to remember. And if you somehow lose your uh, device, and if you want to restore your wallet and your assets, you need these 12 word phrases. Otherwise, you won't be able to recover your wallet. So make sure you just take it down. You can hover over uh, these numbers and it'll actually show the phrase here. You can see that like that. So, or you can actually print phrase. Okay, so you don't have time to take it down right now. Just print then save it as a pdf or whatever the file on your pc okay just print and save it exodus uh, just uh, desktop save it okay so it's saved there so you don't need to worry you can access at any time later okay so so make sure you actually save it somewhere safe don't show these phrases to anyone don't share it with anyone and don't share the private keys either if you go to each and every wallet so you can actually ac have access to private keys don't share the private keys with anyone else okay nobody actually asks you for your private keys okay and if you want to restore you need these private keys or um, these seed phrases okay so that's it so once you take it down just click next so from here you need to select one of these words um, that actually um, belongs to your paper backup that you have saved so in that case you'll have to open this PDF so here you need to actually select the word that actually belongs to your paper backup so you wrote it down in the previous step so here in my case that's um, that's this then click finish okay so finally just created a backup of your wallet you can always come back to this uh, exodus wallet whatever the device you use and you can actually use this 12 word uh, seed phrases to restore your wallet uh, in case of your device getting stolen or crash or something like that you can always restore your wallet uh, using these seed phrases that's how it actually works and you can also reset your exodus password you have two level security here one is uh, password to access your wallet you need to always remember this password otherwise you won't be able to access your wallet okay the the other one is the seed phrase to restore your assets uh, from the cloud so uh, without your seed phrase you won't be able to restore your assets uh, if you get your device stolen or if you get your device crashed or something like that so make sure you actually save it somewhere safe and you should have access to these seed phrases and password whenever it's needed okay so, so that's how you actually create exodus wallet so after that you can actually go back to home and you can send and receive uh, the whatever the cryptocurrencies you want like if you want to send some money from your wallet to some other address you can click this send button and enter the address that you want to send uh, the crypto to then I mean for example in here it's ethereum place the public address you want to send the ethereum to then type the amount that you want to send to then click send so so you can there there are two options you can either enter in ethereum or in usd for easier use i think usd is better you can easily type the amount you're going to send um, and it'll be converted to ethereum so that's how it actually works then click send and it will be sent 
so that's why it actually works and then once it's done you can close it and you can see that if you want to find the wallet of particular currency that you have then you can type it here like in a monero then you can see that monero here that's how it actually works so this is how you basically set up uh, exodus wallet i hope this helps guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and thanks for watching